And so I came back uh, from Oxford, first time since uh, maybe since I was in junior high, I didn't have a structured strategic plan I, that I knew exactly what I was going to do. It was like, I need to come figure out this software thing in Silicon Valley. And so I came back without any concrete plans. And um, at my second week of living at my dad's house, he's like, okay, so you're going to go get a job now, right? And I'm like, well, I was going to research a whole lot. He's like, why don't you research while you get a job? <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. And so I, um, uh, I was fortunate. This is one of the things where, I mean, I had some of the theory pieces of the fact that we live and work in a networked age now. Uh, and maybe I had some good instincts about that, but I just started calling my friends and saying, okay, where's, where's a good place to work? And one of my uh, close friends, um, uh, a gentleman named Stefan Heck, his roommate, Jesse Edlenbogen, uh, was working at Apple at the time. And he said, oh, well, what do you think about Apple? And I was like, oh, Apple's a great company. And so uh, Stefan put Jesse and I in touch with each other, and my first job ended up being at Apple Computer. 